In this video, we'll apply a construction geometry as a guide to a sketch. Please open up the construction and slice.ipt. You'll be presented by this revolved body with many steps to it. Let's look into the sketch of the Revolution 1. Expand it and double click on Sketch 1 icon. We will now enter into the sketch mode. If you notice, some of the edges are not fully constrained. So let's apply a construction line here. Click on line, click anywhere outside of this and move it down. Right mouse click and press OK to end the line call. Now, we don't want this line to be affected to extrusion or revolution or this. So it will act just as a construction. Click on the necessary lines, such as this guy. And on the top right hand corner, select this construction tool. This will convert the solid line into a dashed line which means it will be omitted when performing, when extrusion is being performed or revolution is being performed. Next, let's give some dimensional constraint to this line. If you notice, yeah, it can move pretty much here and everywhere. So let's put a dimension of dimensions to it. Let's put it as 45 degrees, press take, and now we will constrain it to this point, this line to this point. So we use the coincident constraint, select the line and select the point. Great. Now we just need to do three more things. Points, lines. Points, lines. And lastly, the last step, points and line. Press Right click and press OK. If you notice now, the steps are all constrained. Click Finish Sketch to update your 3D model. Now, let's perform a slice graphics function. We will now create a new sketch. Expand the origin. Click on the X, the Y exact plane, and click on the create 2D sketch. Now, it's hard to see the internals of this hole. Correct. Right mouse click and select slice graphics. It will temporarily slice the graphics of it to which extent where is your sketch plane. You can also deactivate it or activate the slice graphics by pressing the F key, F7 key. Now, under this sketch tab, create panel, project geometry, expand on it, and click project cut edges. Automatically, the shape of the solid body will be projected onto your new sketch. Now you can finish the sketch and press extrude or click the E key on your keyboard. Select one entity, tilt it slightly, left click and hold and drag this arrow upwards and press OK. You have just performed the project each. Next, let's do the project geometry. Click on this top surface and click on the last icon on the right. Create 2D sketch. Expand it and project geometry. Now you can project as many geometry as you want. onto the plane that of your sketching plane. 
press finish.